Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Highlander Limited. Now the most notable features on the Limited is its panoramic glass roof, its power lift gate, as well as its heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Highlander Limited. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the Limited package. One of them being is your auto daytime running lights, as well as your LED headlights, fog lamps, and then if we just take a look over on your front bumper, you're going to see your plug-in block heater, as well as your parking sensors just located on the sides of the front bumper, and then you also have your chrome accenting on your front grille, and then you have your 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels over on your mirrors. You have your integrated signal lamps, as well as your uh, cameras located on both sets of mirrors. For your 360 degree backup camera, you also have your front facing camera with your vortex generators. And then if we take a look on the front of your mirror here, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that there is a vehicle right beside you. Now one of the nice things with the limited package is it does offer you a smart key system. So with the smart key system, you can actually lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on these two little lines you see here on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors. And then for yourself, if you want to open up the front door, just put your hand between the handle here. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. You also have your silver roof rack. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Blizzard Pearl. To start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces, as well as your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side, you're going to see your automatic headlights as well as your automatic stop and start. You have your view for your front facing camera, your power lift gate, uh, uh, auto dimming, uh, or not auto dimming, sorry, your um, window wiper de-icer, your heated steering wheel, and your parking sensors. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls for your driver one and driver two. You have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function, mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and then you have your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and your cruise control. One of the nice things with the limited package as well is it does come with a push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on brake, hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically. Now with your multi-informational display you can go through many of the different menus. So you have a couple of different options through here and scrolling through it you're going to see your eco indicator, your all wheel drive indicator and your sway warning control. But you can also go through your navigation, your audio, your lane departure alert and your cruise control as well as your automatic stop and start, messages, and then you have your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, your blind spot monitoring, and a couple other additional features where you can actually personalize everything for yourself. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your digital clock. And then if we head into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. And then if we just take a look just right here, you're going to see your hazard lights. You have your front, rear, and mirror defroster. And then you have your temperature control settings for your dual zone and tri-zone for your rear temperature controls just on the right-hand side here. And then looking down below, you're going to see your USB and auxiliary as well as your power outlet. And then you also have your traction control on and off, your snow mode, downhill assist control, and your all-wheel drive lock. And for 2017, it's now matted to an 8-speed automatic transmission. And then you have your heated seat and cooled seat controls just located down below with three different settings depending on how hot or how cold you want it. Taking a look at the very top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And then a couple of features you'll see at the top here, integrated garage door opener. And then you also have your open and closed for your power moonroof with your uh, sunshade for the panoramic roof. So just taking a look at it, just push on it once and hold it and then let go and then it will open up automatically for you. So now your rear passengers can actually enjoy the uh, view just when it's dark out. You can actually take a look at the stars just while you're driving. And then at the very front here, you're going to see your sunglass case holder and your mirror. So with this mirror, you can actually keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. 
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across it. And located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Toyota emblem here. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now one of the nice things with your third row is that you can actually have it folded down flat into the floor. So all you have to do to fold it down is just pull on this piece here on your left hand side, push it forward, and it will fold down flat for you. So in the event that you need some cargo space as well as passengers, you can fold down either your 40 side or your 60 side. Now to actually fold it back up, all you have to do is just pull on this piece here again, and it will fold up for you. Now the nice thing with the third row is that you can actually tilt it back, just so you're comfortable there as well. Now if you just take a look underneath the floor here at the front, you're going to see some storage space where you can hide some of your valuables as well as your jack and your tool kit just so you can access your spare tire which is located just underneath the bumper here. Now there's oftentimes that chance if you're uh, throwing uh, your hockey bags or your kids hockey bags into the back there, it could uh, scratch the paint there. The nice thing with this here is that you can actually um, prevent that from happening. This guard is actually covering up the paint that's just located on the back of the tailgate here. So if your kids are always constantly dragging, putting back in their bags, or you're putting in your groceries and that, you don't have to worry about damaging the back of your bumper there. Now one of the nice things with the power lift gate is that you can actually readjust it for yourself. So in the event that you want to have it a little bit lowered, all you have to do is hold down on this button for approximately two seconds. It'll beep a couple of times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the site for you. Now, if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason back to its maximum, hold down on this button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height for you. A couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if you have a lower end garage, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from uh, hitting it just so it doesn't get damaged. The other nice thing I like with the um, tailgate as well is that you can actually open up the rear hatch glass so as long as you keep your key fob on you at all times all you have to do is just push on this button here it'll pop open and then you can throw your hockey bags groceries in here really quickly or if you're out at the lake you can just throw your stuff back there just without having to open up the tailgate again Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.